Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'd. Tayammum is something that the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has an ittifaq that it's mashru' that it is something legislated in Islam to make tayammum to use the earth clean earth in order to in the place of water for purification and this as is illustrated in many hadiths can sometimes the tayammum it, it can uh, take the place of the major hadith and the, and the minor hadith Meaning, the, if you, for example, the the major hadith, if someone has uh, sexual impurities and so forth, uh, they have their janaba, then they can make tayammum. Or if they have went to the restroom, which is the minor impurities, then this they can also make tayammum. So tayammum is legislated in both cases if you do not have water, or if water is very scarce, you have some water for drinking, but it's not sufficient. For you to, and you need the drinking water, and it, then you will not have to use that for tayammum. Or if the tayammum, or if uh, using water is going to cause you harm. For example, the person who has injuries and is narrated in a Sahih hadith of a Sahabi who uh, he was suffering from his battle wounds, and his companions urged him, radiallahu ta'ala anhum uh, to make wudu, to use the water. And the water was the cause of his death uh, by using the water. So the Prophet ﷺ became angry and said basically that you should have made tayammum, that you, you've killed your companion. Radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. And so tayammum has many uh, uses. Those are the, the times. Uh, when we can make tayammum. So we're going to read a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, the hadith of Ammar ibn Yasir radiallahu ta'ala anhu. An Ammar ibn Yasir radiallahu ta'ala anhuma qal, ba'thani Rasulullah sallallahu wasallam fi haja, fa ajnabtu, fa lam ajid al-ma, fa tamarragtu fi sa'idi kama tamarragu, كما تمرغ الدابة ثم أتيت النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فذكرت ذلك له فقال إنما كان يكفيك أن تقول بيديك هكذا ثم ضرب بيديه الأرض ضربة واحدة ثم مسها شمال على يمين وظاهر الكفي ووجه In this hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم that was collected in Bukhari and also uh, in many other books of hadith. In this hadith, the Prophet sallallahu the hadith of Umar ibn Yasir radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said, the Prophet sallallahu sent me to do something. And, uh, you know, uh, sent me, this was on, uh, you know, maybe a reconnaissance mission or something that had to do with in the battle. Maybe he was a flag bearer or what, or what have you. He was sent with the army. And then he became Junub. Okay, so he had the impure, um, uh, the the impurities from maybe uh, from uh, which caused him to be Junub, sexual impurities. And he couldn't find any water. So what he did is he rolled on the ground in the dirt. On, on the clean earth, the similar to the way an animal rolls in the dirt. And then he came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he told the, he related, narrated this to him. And then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Verily it is sufficient for you that you go like this with your hands. In the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he struck the, ard, uh, the, the earth one time and he wiped his uh, wiped his left hand with his right, and then the uh, then his face. So in this hadith, we learn uh, the, the scholars bring out many many benefits from this hadith. For one, it shows us the permissibility of making tayammum in the place of ghusl for janaba. So if, for example, someone has the major impurities uh, on their body or what have you. They are junub from sexual intercourse, akramakum Allah, or uh, whatever has caused them to have uh, to ejaculate. Then 
they it is legislated for them to make ghusl and if they do not have water tayammum is in its place also if there is no water this also applies to the women if they uh, have become uh, they have finished their haid or nifas and the haid is when the women it is their monthly cycle of blood that if a woman has had her period and her period has ended and it's time for her to take a, a shower if she has no water in that situation she can't stay, continue to remain in a state of impurity she can make tayammum to prepare herself for prayer also, the same situation applies if a woman is nifas, and nifas is when the woman is uh, finished. Uh, this is the pre, uh, the postnatal bleeding. This is the bleeding that when a woman has had a child. So when this bleeding is also finished, then the woman can purify herself by making tayammum if she does not have water. Another benefit we derive from this hadith that the scholars uh, derive is that. Also, that there is Adam a wujub, Adam a wujub a tartib fi tayammum. So, as some of the scholars illustrate, that there is no necessarily a strict order for making tayammum. Because some hadith narrations, in, in one particular hadith, for Darban, uh, where the Prophet وسلم, was traveling and he, with Jabir ibn Abdullah, and he struck the earth. So he blew in his hands first. He struck the earth. Then he blew in his hands. And uh, and, and, and that's in that narration. In this narration, the Prophet وسلم, said, or um, Amar ibn Yasser, he said that the Prophet وسلم, struck the earth one time. Then he wiped the uh, left with his right uh, and his face. And the scholars also, uh, because wow in the Arabic language, they say wow does not, la yufid a tartib. Meaning that when you use wow, when we say and in English for the wow, it doesn't uh, restrict it, it doesn't mean that that is showing the order of things. So if it says, for example, in the hadith, ثُمَّ uh, ضَرْبَ يَدَيْهِ الْأَرْضِ ضَرْبَةٍ وَاحِدَةٍ ثُمَّ مَسَحَ When we use thumma in Arabic, يُدِلَّ عَلَى تَرْتِيب You feed the tartib. When you find thumma in the Arabic language, then, then that illustrates that there is the order. Then such and such, then such and such. So then that means that is the order of things. But when we wow, maybe in a verse, or wow in a... Uh, a hadith it does not necessarily mean that that is the order that it happened so the scholars uh, some of the scholars deduce that from this that tayyum, tayyumum, that there is different ways to make tayyumum and we're going to try to briefly uh, illustrate uh, illustrate them the scholars they also differ with regards to should, in this hadith we see, in most of the hadith, it show that the Prophet ﷺ struck the earth once. And some, uh, I believe the Shafi'iyah, they say that uh, striking the earth twice. وذهب الجمهور ومنهم إمام أحمد وأوزاعي وإسحاق وأهل الحديث أن تيمم ضربة واحدة. So, uh, Imam Ahmed and Jamhur, or majority of the scholars, and Ozai and Ishaq, and Ahla Hadith, they all say that Tayammum is just one striking the earth once, that that's sufficient. And and that uh, and that when uh, la 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 yumsah illa waj wa kafan, and that also that you only after striking the earth that you only wipe the face and the hands because also the Shafi'iyah Shafi'iyah they say that uh, you know that uh, striking the earth twice at Tayyumum Darban and this is also from a narration Ruahu Darakutni on Umar radiallahu ta'anhu at Tayyumum Darbatan 
darabatan lil waj wa darabatan lil yadain ila marfaqain and this hadith as in the sunan of darqutni uh, i don't know the authenticity he doesn't mention the authenticity of the hadith i uh, actually nisai said about this uh, said that laysa bi he's talking about one of the narrations so there may be some weakness in this hadith this this narration on umar where he said striking the earth twice once for the hands and once for the face and that you should wipe the hands all the way up to the uh, elbow as if you were making wudu so the strongest is what the jamhur the majority of the ulama are is that you only have to strike the earth once and you from then you can uh, you can wipe your face and then your hands another way in which you can do it uh, that some of the, Ill- the the scholars illustrate is that you can strike the earth once and then wipe the hands then the watch or strike the earth and there's a narration where the prophet sallallahu he blew in them thumma masaha al then he wiped his hands and his face or or something like that kama qala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam so it shows us that there are different ways and probably the safest to be consistent is striking the earth once and then uh, wiping the face and then the hands the wiping the uh, the the left hand first then the right and some of the things that we that we gain from this hadith that the scholars that Imam Saidi or Imam uh, uh, Imam uh, Abdullah ibn Abdurrahman ibn Saleh al Bassam rahimahullah ta'ala some of the benefits he mentioned from this hadith he said uh, the tayammum you can uh, is also for ghusl for janaba as we mentioned that if you have the major impurity you can make tayammum also that also that it is a requirement that you search for water so if you don't have water you must search for it and then if you don't find water you can make tayammum also then the sheikh said he said and then the the way in which you make tayammum is striking the earth one time then wiping the face and then the hand uh, and then the hand and he said to the to the elbows so imam uh, Ali Basam rahimahullah ta'ala he says that wiping the all the way up to the elbows and he brings uh, a statement of Ibn Rushd uh, where he says that the that the uh, that that is in, included in that and so he brings some other statements of of the ulama but uh, it is sufficient as many of the scholars say to just strike the earth once and then wipe your face, and then wipe the uh, left, or, or, or wipe the left, and then the right, and that that's sufficient. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Anything I said that was incorrect was from the Shaitan and myself. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa